I would like you to look with me at Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11. Uh, that may be a familiar reference in the Bible to you because for many people, this is their favorite verse. It certainly is one of my favorite verses because it reminds me that God is not done with me yet. And I still have hope for a future. Let's read the verse. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. Future, hope, we're not done yet. And God says, I know the plans that I still have for you. Now this reminds me of running a race. Way back in the Olympic Games in Mexico City in 1968, the marathon race was run. In fact, it was an Ethiopian runner who won the gold medal that year. Mama Woldi, congratulations. But let me tell you about the guy who lost the race. He was the last man to cross the finish line. His name was John Stephen Aquari from Tanzania. John Stephen About halfway through the marathon, his muscles began to stiffen up and cramp. It was because he wasn't used to running at the high altitudes of Mexico City. Then another runner bumped into him. And he fell hard on his shoulder and seriously injured his knee. So what did he do? Did he give up? No, history tells us an amazing story. He was bleeding and he was limping, but he got up and ran the second half of the marathon. By the time he arrived at the finish line, most of the crowd in the stadium had already gone home. Suddenly, they saw him come limping to the finish line. And the people who were left started to cheer. This was remarkable. Later, he was asked, why did you run the second half of that marathon when you were so injured? And he said, because my country did not send me 8,000 kilometers to start a race. And he said, 
My country sent me to finish the race. And every one of us are in a race. God has a plan and a purpose for why you're here on this earth as a human being. But for many of us, our failures have overcome us. People have hurt us. We don't think there's any hope for our future. But in Jeremiah 2011, 29:11, God is saying, I have a future for you. I want you to finish what I have started in your life. Yes, you may have failed in the past. Yes, you may be in pain. But I am here to give you a hope in a future. Now what amazes me about this verse is that God gave them this promise at the most unlikely time. These people are not, they're God's people, but they're not in their homeland. They're prisoners of war uh, by the Babylonians. Under the judgment of God, the city of Jerusalem had been destroyed and the temple had been destroyed. And the people of God had been taken out of the land that God had actually promised to them. And it was because the people of God had turned their back on, on the true and living God. They started to bow down to worship idols. They rejected the holy God. When they bowed down to idols, they were bowing down to demonic powers. They were bowing down to sexual immorality and the killing of children. They were bowing down to corruption and social injustice. When you turn your back on God, everything falls apart. And so now the people of God had lost their land. There were prisoners of war in a foreign country. Their past failures had overcome them. And you would think in this darkest hour that God would say, I'm done with you. But it's at this most unlikely moment that God breaks through with this brilliant promise. You stumbled and you failed. But I am not done. I, I still have a hope and a promise for you. Sometimes our failures can make that seem impossible. Sometimes our past sin and failure makes us feel so trapped that we don't think our future could any be any different than our past. Sometimes our failures make us feel like, like God could never love me after what I've done. 
አንዳንዴ የወደቀነው ውድቀት ምናልባት እግዚአብሔር አምላክ እኔን አይወደኝም እኔን አይፈልገኝም በእኔ ጉዳዩ አይደለም የሚል ስሜት ውስጥ እንድንገባ ያደርጋል and sometimes our failures can make us feel such shame that we don't even think we deserve a future that's better than our past and and yallefnubet dekama tarikachin yallefnubet metfo tarikachin kefellefitachin tesfa andalle melkam neger andalle endanasib yadergal that's how israel felt ihenen bemins bemisamman gize but god said no i know the plans i have for you zaber gin yemilo kibr le zaber yun ene lenante masawon hasab awqallo yemil kan In spite of your failures I want to prosper you and not to harm you. Menum ayinat urqat ust menum ayinat challama ust hunu ene lenante masabo melkam hasab alley no milo egzabier. Thank God I still want to give you a future. Egzabier yemesket indegena tesfa lemilame lesetachu allo no yemil egzabier. Hallelujah. Ihe endet leyon ichilal. Well God has an answer to the past failures in your life and mine. በእኔም ሆነ በእናንተ ይወስላልፎ ድካማችን ስላልፎ ውድቀታችን እግዚአብሔር መልስ አለው and his name is jesus christ ኢየሱስ ስም ስሙ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ነው jeremiah 29:11 was written in the old testament of our bible which was before jesus came ሁላችሁም እንደምታውቁት ኤርሚያስ ምዕራፍ 29 ቁጥር 11 በመጽሐፍ ቅዱሳችን ጌታችን ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ራሱ ከመወለዱ በፊት የተጻፈ ታሪክ ነው But I believe the fulfillment of the promise of Jeremiah 20:11 is Jesus Christ. እነ እንደማምኖ የኤርሚያስ 29 11 ፍጻሜ ራሱ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ነው. Jesus is the hope of your life. ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ የህይወታችን ተስፋ ነው. Jesus is the hope of Ethiopia. ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ የኢትዮጵያ ተስፋ ነው ሃሌሉያ። Jesus is the hope of the continent of Africa. ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ የአፍሪካ አህጉር ተስፋ ነው. Jesus is even the hope of the United States of America. Thank God. በእርግጥ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ የአሜሪካን ቢሆን ተስፋ ነው. And here's how the apostle Paul described Jesus when it comes to overcoming our past. ያለፈው ነገራችንን ያለፈው ድካማችንን ለማሸነፉን በተመለከተ ሐዋርያው ጳውሎስ የተናገረው ሌላ ሐሳብ ሊነግራችሁ ፈልጋለሁ 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17 ሁለተኛ ቆሮንቶስ ምዕራፍ 5 ቁጥር 17 ላይ ነው ያለው ያጠቅስ This is the Jeremiah 29:11 of the New Testament ይሄ እንግዲህ በአዲስ ኪዳን የተጻፈው የኤርሚያስ 29 11 ፍጻሜ ነው በየለው አለው And here we're told that if anyone is in Christ he or she has become a new creation the old has passed and the new has come hallelujah selezi mannum be christos bihon irsu weim irswa addis fitrat nacho arogeo neger alfal enho hulu maddis wonu alilal you cannot know god's future without jesus in your life today ingidi yale yesus christos yodefitachu litawqwachiru and paul paul says in this verse that that we become new creations ingidi hawariya paulos bezi sifra lay minnagero enya addis fitratnen bemaletno the god who created the heavens and the earth samayatin na midrin yefetero egziabher he still creating new things ahunum bihon addis neger mawtat mefter yichilal he's creating his purpose and his future in your life በእኔና በእናንተ ህይወት አዲስን ነገር አዲስን አላማ አዲስን እቅድ አዲስን ነገር ይሰራል ማለት ነው This is because when you come to Christ you no longer belong to yourself ይሄ ነገር ሊሆን የሚችለው ሁሉ ሊሆን የሚችለው ወደ ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ስትመጡ ብቻ ነው ምክንያቱም አሁን የክርስቶስ ናችሁ You no longer belong to Satan and the powers of this world. You don't even belong to your past problems anymore. You belong to the creator. And the God so powerful to make the heavens and the earth, he is creating something new. in your life when you meet Jesus. Samayatinna midrin yefetero amlak issu benanta hiwot zareem bihon addisin neger madreg yichilal. Because when you meet Jesus, you have a new owner. It's the creator himself. Ahon Christosin bemittekebalubet gize addis geta weyim ye Christos onachwalna addis neger behiwotachu ahonun yifetsemal malatno. It's like the little boy who made a beautiful little toy boat. አንድ አንድ ልጅ ታሪክ ልንገራቹ ያ ትንሽ ልጅ በጣም የምታምር ጀልባ ሰራ 
he carved that boat and he painted that boat and and he just loved his little boat that he had made yeah ye sar yachin ye saratin jelba and betliyu betru menged sarat qalam qabat aswabat and then he took it out to the river and he put it on the water and just watched it float there and na yachin jelbawun izo wede wenze dar hedena wenze lay asqemata sitin safof ma yejemer oh he was so proud of his boat he loved his boat and na sitin safof sayat betam no miwedat na betam dess alo abet yene jelba ma lejemer but unfortunately the string broke and the boat just started going down the river and na berejim gemeda aynat oy mind remote aynat neger beza neber endetinedda yemiyadergo neger miyadergo na ya neger bemisseberbet gize tasfa qorata and he looked everywhere but he couldn't find his boat he lost it na bikatala tafach yetin bota bizor li agenyat alchala miyachin jelba his heart was broken na lebu tasebere he yetsalich but several weeks later he was walking down the street in his town ketawassana samment bohala ba ager woyim besafaru ba and menged dar bemiyedbet gize and there in the front of a store was his boat enna beza bemialfibet gize and suq lay bemaskot sir bemastawat sir yachi jalbaw takamata ayye he goes that's my boat yachi ne ne chiko ale so he walks in and talks to the store owner na gabba na balebetu ne suqun balebet woy memedebrun balebet managager jemere the store owner said uh, no that's not your boat that's my boat and na balemedebru demo no 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 he ante jalba idellem ene jalba no alo if you want your boat you got to pay me burr na ma mitfelgat kon esso anjelba genzeb makfel alleb bilo ke bursaw genzeb awto le makfel mokere so he took all the money he had and gave it to the store owner ya tinish lij bekisu yallo genzeb bemulo awta na lezach jelba kefele and he bought his little boat back na ke gezat wala jelba on yazat and as he walked out the door of that store he was hugging his boat na le kaza ke suku si yota betam adergo yachin jelba andezi akfat neb he was saying little boat i love you anchi jelba ye betam odish yallo alat yachin jelba and now i have owned you twice ahun hulet gize rasi yergesh yallo ana first i owned you because i made you and created you majemeriya ye rasi yaderkush sila bejosh na sila fetarkush no alat but now i own you because i bought you back ahun gin ye rasi yaderkush sila gezawsh no alo malatnu God your creator he owns you because he created you you're not a mistake ngidi wondmoch hitoch minum mihon minum kezi befit ye egzaber nachu essu sile fetarachu but we sin we rebelled against god we turned our backs on him yihunna bizu at fetanal bizu bedilanal bizu amsanal like that little boat we were lost anna lik indezach tinish jelba taftan neber but our creator came after us anna fetariachin takatatlon bohala wedenya metta he made us and he loves us anna yewedenal fetronal anna and to get us back anna melisu ametta he gave his own son jesus lijun yesus kristosin satan who shed his blood on the cross for us sila hullachin bemesqal lay demun yafassasa lich all our failures were placed on him and not tafatachin bedalachin hulu beza mesqal lay tetereqa all the things that hurt the heart of god that we have are guilty of was placed on jesus yegziaberen lib yesebere manninyo mahatiyatachin bemulu bekristos mesqal lay tetereqa and with his shed blood he bought us back from the grip of satan yesus kristos demo befassaso demo hullachin gezanna wede egziaber ameta satan could pay no higher price and now satan yanik mekfel achilim and god looks at you and me xavier ni nan nanten yimeleketanal and he says i want to own you twice let hulla hulet gize nanten yerase madreg felgallo yilenal you were mine because i created you and nante enen achu sile fetterkwachu yilenal but then you were lost tafachu gun but i have bought you back with the price of my own son jesus christ belije waga belije dem waga gazichachu alo ahunum yerase yadergachu alo and if you say yes to him ahun zare aun shi lante gezallo bitulut he will come into your life wede hiwotachu yimetal he will forgive your past yallefon tarikachun bolu yiqri lal and he will give you a future and a hope enna mulu yihona fitsame na tasfa yallon hiwot isetachu hal because you belong to him mkniyatum nante essu neberachu and because he's the creator he knows how to change your heart essu fetariachu silona libachun indet indemilewut yawqal now i was in university i studied for 9 years to be a scientist ene scientist lemon be university tamir yallohuy and in science we study what god created enna egziaber indemi fetir no yetemarkut na yehwa science neber matana in these days people say we have science so we don't need god enna yanne yetemarun iyallen 
ሳይንስ አለ ባንደ በኩል ስለዚህ እግዚአብሔር የሚባል ነገር ያስፈልገንም አሉ አንዳንዶቹ but that's not what i learned as a scientist እኔ ሳይንቲስት ሆኜ ተማርኩት ያንን አልነበረም i found out that our universe has a beginning ለከኖ ሁዋ ወይም ይሄ ምዳር ብለን የምንለው መጀመሪያ ያለው those are the three first three words of the bible in the beginning እንግዲህ በመጽሐፍ ቅዱሳችን በእንግሊዝኛው in the beginning ነው የሚለው የኛ አንድ ቃል ነው ያለው በመጀመሪያ ነው የሚለው 100 years ago science, scientists did not believe the universe had a beginning እና የሳይንቲስቶች በመጀመሪያ የሚለው ነገር ቀደም ብሎ ባለው ጊዜ አያምኑም ነበር Now most scientists agree with the first three words of the Bible in the beginning. Do sachin wust yallon bemajemere egziaber yemilon ahun buzu scientistoch yamnalu. And the more we understand how creation works, the more we see that this could not have happened by accident. There had to be a creator. እንግዲህ ተፈጥሮን ዝም ብለን በመንመለከትበት ጊዜ ኮአክብትን ጨረቃን የመሳሰሉትን ነገር سنመለከት ድንገት የተፈጠረው ድንገት የተከሰተ ሳይሆን የሆነ መጀመሪያ እንዳለው እናምናለን ማለት ነው That's why I still like reading about science አሁንም ቢሆን እኔ ሳይንቲስት ነኝ ብዬ ብላችሁም ሳይንስ ወዳለሁ ምክንያቱም የመጀመሪያው እግዚአብሔር እንደሆነ ስለሚያስተምር It makes me say oh god what a great creator you are እና ተፈጥሮን በመንመለከትበት እግዚአብሔር እንዴት ታላቅ ነህ ላለው ነኝ But here's what I also learned about science. ስለ ሳይንስ ሌላ የተማርኩ ትምርት አለ። Science may challenge your brain, but it won't change your heart. ለክ ነው የሳይንስ ምርምርና የሳይንስ ጥናት አምሮአችሁን ወዲያና ወዲ ሊያደርግ ይችላል ግን ልባችሁን አይቀይርም። Only our creator can change our hearts. ፈጣሪያችን ብቻ ነው ልባችን ሊቀይር የሚችል። If anyone is in Christ, በክርስቶስ ማንም ቢኖር you not only belong to the creator. ለፈጣሪ ብቻ አይደለም ተሆኑት but his creative power through the holy spirit starts to change us from the inside out ya yemi fetraw hayl bemunfas qiddus amakaynet bostachu yallo neger yiqayirwal wemi lewutawal a few months ago i was in a country a muslim country that is closed to the gospel of jesus christ እና ከጥቂት ግዚያቶች በፊት በአንድ ስላም አገር ነበርኩኝ ምን አልባት ለወንጌል እምነት ዝግ የሆነ አገር ነው እሱ and i met a young man who was trained in technology and science and now science and technology betam mirmir ust yalle and wotat lij agenyo he grown up as a muslim but his heart was spiritually dark and empty lekno islam hono no yadego scientist no technology so no gin wustu bado no challama no but he knew there was something more and yeqarra neger indalle gin wustu yitayik neber he was hungry for god egzaberin yirab nebera and he said i was working in this remote place in the middle of the night where there were no lights anywhere ana bohona hon akababi asayenyna zi akababi no misarawna and kan salasbo akababi hulu mabrat taffa challama be challama wona ale and he said without me doing a thing all of a sudden the room i was in lit up with brightness menem bemaladergbet bezya saat beneberku yeneberkubet kifil dinga salasbo brahan molla betu And he said Jesus revealed himself to me. Na geta Jesus Christos rasun beza challama bet ust gelatalli no milaw. And he made me a new creation. Addis fitrat adergeñ. The creator still recreating in our hearts. Aunum bihon fatari sewochin yifatral sewochin addis yadergal. I have another friend who was a drug addict and used to sell drugs on the streets. እና አንድ ደሞ ሌላ ወዳጅ አለኝ እጾች የሚያዛውርና ሱኑ የሚሸጥ በዛም ደሞ የታየዘ ሰው ነው so as a result he was in and out of prison several times እና ብዙ ጊዜ በተለያየ ስር ቤት የሚታሰር ሰው ነው ይሄ and he talks about god meeting him in his prison cell እና ሱም ደሞ በተሰረበት ቦታ እግዚአብሔር ራሱ እንደተገናኘው ይናገራል he still looks like a big tough guy but he's a good friend of mine ለክነ ስታዩት በጣም ጠንካራና ትልቅ ነው ግን በጣም ወዳጅ ነው ነው የሚሉት our backgrounds are very different እንግዲህ መነሻችን የኔም እሱም የተለያየ ነው but he said in my prison cell the power of god came upon me one day እሱ እንደሚለው አንድ ቀን ሳላስበው የእግዚአብሔር ኃይል በተሰርኩበት ስፍራ ገባ ነው የሚለው he said it was like the love of god just started pouring all over me የእግዚአብሔር ፍቅር በውስጥ ከላይ እስከታች መፍሰስ ጀመረ said i was on my knees i began to shake under the power of god እና በዚያ ሰዓት ተንበርክከ የነበር ሰውነት የሚንቀጠቀጥ ነበር and got in jesus said i'm going to break the addiction of your past and i'm going to set you free 
ጌታም እንዲያነድ ድምጽ ያሰማይ መሰኛል ከታያስክበት ከታሰርክበት ከዚህ ጽጽና ከዚህ ሱስ እፈታhallo ነጻት ወጣለ ይሚል ማለት ነው gonna raise you up as a new creation እና አዲስ አድርገው ያወጣhallo አዲስ ፍጥረት ሆነአላህ አለ gonna give you a future and a hope እና ፍጻሜና ተስፋ ዘጠhallo አለ my friend has led many other prisoners and drug addicts to the lord እና ያ ሰው በዚህ መንገድ ጌታን ካገኘ በኋላ ብዙዎች ስርበት ያሉትን መስክሮ ብዙዎችን ከእስራት ወይም ከ ወን ቦንጌል ነጻ እንዲወጣ አደረገ he likes to say my prison became a palace of the king እና ምንድነው የሚለው የኔ እስር ቤት የንጉስ ቤተ መንግስት ሆነች ነው ያለው i don't know how discouraged you feel about your past failures እንግዲህ ያለፈው ውድቀታችሁ የቱን ያህል ተስፋ ሊያስቆርጣችሁ እንደምችል ገምታለሁ but jesus has come for you ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ግን ለናንተ መጥቷለ the one who created the heavens and the earth ሰማያትና ምድርን የፈጠረ ፈጣሪ it's not too hard a job for him to change and recreate you ለሱ እኮ ከባድ አይደለም የናንተ ልቦና የላንተ ማንነት ለመቀየርና ለመለወጥ will you give him a chance today እድሉን ተሰጥቷላችሁ ወይ እንዲለውጣችሁ god who says your race is not over እና ያንተ ሩጫ አላበቃም ነው የሚላችሁ ያንቺ ሩጫ አላበቃም ነው የሚለው ያለው you may be injured but i have come to heal you ተጎርታችሁ ሊሆን ይችላል ለፈውሳችሁ መጥቻለሁ and i believe that god is also saying that to this wonderful congregation today ለዚህ ጉባኤ እግዚአብሔርም የሚናገረው ይሄንን መልእክት ይመስለኛል don't keep god in a box እግዚአብሔርን በተወሰነች ሳጥን ውስጥ አታስቀምጡት don't say our future will only look like what god has done in the past ባለፈው የሆነው በታሪክ የተፈጸመው ነገር ነው ይወደፊት ይብላችሁም አታስቡ but i believe the creator god is creating a new season of his power in his spirit in you as a church እና ፈጣሪያችን አምላካችን ወደፊት ፍጻሜያችንን መልካም ያደርጋል ያድሰዋል ይለውጣዋል i somehow feel like you're entering into that right now አሁን እንደምትገቡ ነው የማስበው ብለው ነው እየጋበዙ ያለው let god be god እግዚአብሔር አምላክ ይሁን he's done many things already in this place በዚህ ስፍራ ብዙ ነገሮች ሆነዋል በርግጥ but let him say to you we're not at the finish line yet አሁን ገናል ጥረሳችሁም የምትሮጡት ሩጫ አለ ያለ ነው ያለው god hasn't called us just to start እግዚአብሔር የጠራችሁ እንድት ጀምሩ ብቻ አይደለም He's called us to finish all the purposes that yet, he has for our life. Yet Aaron Xavier by what touching has come on Alamas come a church and then first some no cover like Xavier. Hallelujah Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The future and the hope that you have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.